Hello, for those of you who have never seen my channel before, I don't, I don't do very many channels. I'm not fucking Paul Logan or PewDiePie or any of those fools. So I don't do fancy graphics. I don't do fancy animation, but I'm doing something for fun. I'm doing a sort of a fan art, fan fiction kind of thing like Alex Ross. If you've ever seen Alex Ross's um, his comics and like he would, well, I mean, just his just his art books, he would. He would paint uh, pictures like, like such. Here's this is classic Superman, by the way, not from 1938. This is Alex Ross's um, the way he would paint. So of course you see here 1938, 1998. I'll show you the back really quick because I I made something interesting. Here's the classic uh, Superman, and uh, here is Alex Ross edition there. Uh, so what, Al what Alex Ross would do is he would paint uh, a description of what Superman looks like from his point of view and write a description up to the right of it. Uh, so you have the classic Superman, and of course you have uh, you have Henry Cavill's Superman. You have uh, uh, stuff from the movie. Yeah, that's not why that's not why I'm doing this video and wasting my time right now. I'm going to show you something I'm making for fun. This is for the 80th birthday. This is, uh, as you can see here, this is Superman of, let me see about that. This is Superman of Earth 78. So um, I'll talk about this a little bit. Uh, so what were my inspirations for this? It's a giant robot. It's actually like a six foot, seven foot tall robot that came from Krypton. And uh, the idea came out of Wind Waker from The Legend of Zelda. So if you think of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, if you think of Chibi Robo, which was made by uh, Skip. Yeah, Chibi Robo. And if you think of Doshin the Giant, uh, the Japanese game that never came to America but was in Super Smash Brothers. If you think of those three games, you, uh, you basically have this guy here. So... Uh, I'll go over the uh, description of it. So, uh, nickname is Toasterhead. Kal El. That is the uh, original Golden Age spelling of Kal El. Is a robot that launched to Neo Terra. So, um, for this, for Neo Terra, it's not Earth, but it's a it's a, a planet like Earth that is nothing but uh, it's a it's an Earth like planet that is I would say like 85, 80% ocean and like 20% islands. So all the land is are, are all islands or giant islands. Uh, you have tropical, you know, palm trees and all kinds of stuff, like Hawaii, like islands. Uh, Krypton is a doomed world. Uh, from Krypton, a doomed world. Arriving on a large civilized island, he is a robot of tremendous strength. He or it performs miracles around the island, adored by children. So, um, I came up with this idea because I just, you know, something to do for the, uh, for the 80th birthday, uh, earth 78, because there hasn't, there is not an earth 78 Superman yet. So why did I do it this way instead of a person? Notice that he has, uh, this Superman has small legs and he has big arms. It's sort of done in the style of Wind Waker. Uh, all the characters in Link's world, when he's a, a hero of the winds, they all have these like little pygmy legs, like little pig legs and big arms. Um, let me see if I have the book. I can show you. I have the, I have a whole, whole bunch of books. So I'll show you right now. Yeah. See, they have the big arms and little legs. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah. This is sort of, fuck. This is sort of what I was going for. All this stuff here. I was going for a style that, um, yeah, that's what I was going for. Now, why is it so strange? Because that's just the way I did it. This is my thinking, okay? I've been reading, I had been reading Superman comics since the 80s, okay, for a very long time. And I have comic books that go back to the 30s because I'm well aware of the history of it. This is not wrong. It's not right, but it's not wrong. There are, there are 20 million versions of Superman, Elseworlds and all this shit. And 
you know, it was just, I think even the creators, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster would agree that you can, you can only do so much with the character. Uh, Jerry Siegel killed off uh, uh, Superman in, a, in an imaginary story because he was just done. He was tired. He didn't want to do any more with it. And he didn't like being mistreated at the company anyway. And there's still that that legendary story of Joe Schuster as a UPS driver <laughs> getting $100 and be sent on his merry way at DC Comics. But whatever, that's true or not, I don't know. But um, I think that if you reinvent the character with the same concepts, if I put him in a whole new environment, then that works all right too. So this is uh, Superman with... So it's a toaster head with all these gears and you know, little kind of hydraulic uh, kind of uh, bones and joints, springs. Uh, you've got some moving parts in here. You've got this, what I did for the cape was a solar panel flying cape. Uh, so like little bit, like little triangles made of solar panels that are very lightweight. So the solar panels are what keeps them flying, not rocket boosters or anything like that. Just this, this thing here keeps them in flight. He's got boxing gloves. One of his, uh, you know, besides heat vision and stuff, he can spin like a top and throw his boxing gloves like a like a spiraling uh, spiraling top. Uh, let me show you his head. Here is the head. It's a weird head, right? And here he is from this point of view. A lot of dark. Um, what I used here were a lot of pens. Uh, I used these. These, let me see if I can find the name of it. This is the uh, plug, I guess, for the, uh, what the fuck? So it's hard, it's hard to hold the phone in one hand and it, this, I'm not, I don't have like sophisticated equipment. I can't show you the, um, it's Tombow ABT. That's what it's called, fuck. It's just, it's, 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 it's like this middle finger, like it keeps fluctuating out. I can't show you the damn, I can probably show you this. This is praying. I think some people can see that. It's like, you can see, I mean, you can see the stuff I'm doing, but I'm not, the Sharpies, I'm not using the Sharpies because um, if I use the Sharpies, it'll bleed right through the paper. So what I'm using are, are these kinds of markers and uh, colored pencils and pe uh, pen regular pencils uh, to do this, all this. And it's kind of a sketchy uh, piece. So that's all I've got to say about this. Um, I'll do more. I'm going to do more characters and more things for the Superman universe. So stay tuned for that, will you? Bye.